Um, well, just quick back to last week. I mean, one of those games, probably a frustrating one, but an, another step on the uh, the road to just improve that way for. Yeah, definitely. It was another game where you have to sort of roll your sleeves up and grind out a clean sheet, I guess. Mm. And unfortunately, we didn't get a goal to sort of get us over the line. Lumley made a couple of good saves, but yeah, it was. They could have maybe nicked it as well, but it's it's one of those games where yeah, you roll your sleeves up and try and try and stop their attacking threat, and I think we've done that quite well on Saturday. And, and it's that kind of time of year, isn't it? Because obviously the pitch there wasn't great. We know the situation of the the men; yeah. they're not perfect conditions, are they? No, I think a lot of pitches will be similar. There'll be there'll be a few bad ones and a few good ones, but. It's the same for both sides, and you've got to adapt to them and, and just do your best you can on them. Yeah, and this is one of those where you have it very much in your mind, so you know the conditions of the men better than, than anybody else. Yeah. You know what kind of balls work, what don't, where you can play, where you can't play. Yeah, we we, we got to grips with it quite quite quickly at the men, and I think it's, it's gradually got better over the last few weeks. So, yeah, we're, we're just trying to take each game as it comes on it, but yeah, it's the same for both teams, and you've got to try and try and do the right things as well. Yeah, and it's four games unbeaten now, and that's you know, that's a good place to start from. Hopefully, going into to what looks like a tough run of matches. Yeah, a couple of tough games, and, and we're trying to obviously pull ourselves away from the bottom half of the yeah. table. So yeah, we want to keep the consistency going and be as resilient as we can at the back and try and improve on our, our goal scoring as well. Yeah, it is that the focus at the moment, trying to sort of improve your position in the table and then see what's possible over the last couple of months of the season. Yeah, we don't want to we don't want to finish low. We want to finish as high as possible. So I think we've got to try and work on our consistency and try and get the goals back and I don't think we're too far away from just getting over the line and putting a few wins together. Yeah, and is that that sort of defensive consistency looks better now? It's been a lot more solid over the last few matches. It's just maybe find the, the finishing touch in front of goal. Yeah, we we know that we've worked on it the last few weeks. What we've got to do to try and improve moving forwards, and and I think it's probably the last couple of away games where we haven't really had that cutting edge in front of goal, and we haven't looked after it at the top end of the pitch, but. I say Saturday was a different game. Rory played really well, and it was just one of those games where we couldn't quite make the chance to to go ahead. Yeah, it's probably a slightly different game expected at the weekend. I mean, Bradford it had a little bit of wobble loss to, to Northampton, but a very good team. Yeah, the last couple of seasons we've played them, and, and they move the ball really well. They got a good movement throughout their team, so it'll be another tough game. But hopefully, we can uh, sort of nullify what they're good at and, and do what we are, do yeah. what good, we're good at. And looking at them, I mean, they've, they've got a bunch of injuries at the moment. Is that something you ever pay attention to, who you're going to be coming up against? Not really, because on in this league, every every team's strong on their day. If they turn up and play well, they'll they'll probably win. Same as us, if we turn up and play well, like we know we're capable of, then there's every chance we will take the three points. So we're just looking at what we're good at and trying to improve on that, and hopefully that'll be enough to... Get us over the line. Yeah, and I suppose it's one of those. If you see a couple of names that you're uh, you're expecting missing, you might expect an easier afternoon or something like that. And it yeah. doesn't often work that way, does it? No, not necessarily. Everyone, they've probably got a big enough squad to cope, and and they've probably got good players in around the first team as well. So you just got to work hard and and probably out <clears throat> outwork them on the day. And and if you do, then you probably uh, put yourself in a better chance of winning.